I've got four beginner Christmas songs that use only three very, very simple chords, and I'm gonna show you how to play them step by step, but there is a little bit of a timing distinction between a couple of the songs, so let's get into it. Now these songs are designed for the beginner guitar player, so we're not gonna be doing anything really, really intricate in these. I'm gonna keep them simple, and first, let's start off with the chords we're gonna be playing. So the three chords we're gonna be using for all four of these songs, we're not gonna use any other chords, are gonna be a G major chord, okay, and you can play this with your third finger or your pinky, whichever is most comfortable for you. And if you know my easy G chord, kind of a G6 chord, um, but if you know my easy G chord with the two fingers, you could use that as well. We also have a C chord, okay? You can use the full three finger version if you know that, or if you're an absolute beginner, the simple two finger version works just as fine. And the final chord would be the D chord, or you could use the two finger D chord, okay? That's a D sus two, but I call it the easy D chord if you just wanna use two fingers. So we have a G chord, a C chord and a D chord. Now let's talk about the timing for the first two songs. We're gonna be playing what's called 4-4 four, four rhythm. That's the, it's called the time signature and all it's telling us right now is how high are we gonna count for each one of these chords and it's in the time signature, four. We're gonna be counting to four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's gonna be the basis for the strumming pattern we're gonna use here. I'm gonna give you two options. The first one is if you're an absolute beginner and you can't do up strums yet, you can just do four down strums per chord. So if we play a G chord, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very, very simple. The other strumming pattern I'm gonna show you if you're getting into doing up strums, and that's the one I'm gonna be using for the demonstrations in a little bit, is gonna be one, two, three, and four, and played as down, 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 up, down, up. So it's gonna be like this. One, two, three, and four, and down, 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 up, down, up. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to practice that strumming pattern or rewind the video and play it again, because we're gonna jump into our first song, which is Jingle Bells. And just so you know, before I jump into Jingle Bells, there's a link in the description below if you guys wanna go grab a free PDF of all these songs. They're not copywritten, they're all in the public domain, which means I can give you the chords and the lyrics. So if you wanna go to the link in the description below, you can go and download that PDF. Now, Jingle Bells, like I said, the strumming pattern we're gonna be using is that one, two, three, and four, and. So Jingle Bells is a lot of G chord, which is really nice, and every once in a while, the C and the D chords come into play. So we're gonna try and put some lyrics and chords up on the screen for you guys so that you can play along with me. So first, let's just get the timing of that strumming pattern. All right, we'll start slow, and then I'm gonna pick it up a little bit because the song's got a little bit of pep to it, so it starts slow. Pick up the speed. Ready? Here we go. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle. Now, if you can play along to Jingle Bells, the great thing is you can play along to this next song, which is Joy to the World. But there's a little bit of a chord split going on here in the lyrics. There are a couple places where the chords split a measure. You're gonna see this big line. There's gonna be a G and a D. And all we're gonna do on that, so when we come to the G chord, we're gonna do two down strums. And then when we come to the D, we're gonna do two down strums. Also happens it one more time with G and C. So when you see that, it'll be G two strums and then C two strums. 
But other than that, the rest of the strumming pattern is exactly the same as what we did on Jingle Bells. So we're gonna throw some chords and lyrics up on the screen for you guys so that you can follow along. Ready? Let's get that strumming pattern in time again. One, two, ready, and here we go. Same strumming pattern. Here we go. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive a king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. Now, just as a note for female singers, you know, because the key of G can sometimes be low for female singers. I'm an alto. Uh, for those of you who need a higher vocal range, you could use what's called a capo. And what you do, it's just a little clamp. And you could clamp this, say, on the third fret of the guitar. And you play all the chords relative to the capo. Hear how the sound got much brighter? Okay, so if you need to adjust your voice to make these higher on the Christmas holiday, you can always use a capo. So now we're going to change up the timing. Um, before we do that, I'd like to introduce myself to some of you. Really, some of you might not know who I am. My name is Lauren Bateman and I help make the guitar make sense. I specialize in working with absolute beginners to intermediate players, especially those over the age of 50. I have a very specialized method for, for teaching older adult learners and I hope you guys are having fun and learning from this video. So let's make sense out of this next timing. We are switching from 4-4 four, four rhythm, okay, four beats, to 3-4 rhythm. So all that's changing is we're counting to three as opposed to counting to four, right? So we're just gonna change up our strumming patterns just a little bit on these. So if you wanna keep it simple, again, you can just do three down strums. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep it nice and simple. Okay. If you want to spice it up and you're someone who can do up strums, the strumming pattern I'm going to be using is one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. And we call this a waltz. feels like your body is swaying to the music. So this is called waltz time, three, four time. Now the strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. That's going to be the strumming pattern that is the basis for our next two songs. So the next song we're going to jump on is the first Noel. Before we jump into the song, let's get the timing of that strumming down. Okay, we're going to be one, two, three, a little bit slower. One, two, three, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and the first Noel. That strumming pattern we're just gonna go right ahead and apply it to the next song which is Silent Night which is one of my favorite Christmas songs I think it's probably because it's one of my mom's favorite Christmas songs um, it's really nice and again the tempo is much slower so you don't have to rush through it and if you want just a little extra spice to throw into your strumming I'm gonna give you a third bonus strum here um, what you can do is you can accent the bass note of each of the chords. So on the G chord, you could just play the top string or the top couple strings. On the C chord, you could play the fifth string or you know the fifth and fourth string. And then you can, the D string, try and just get that D string, or but this is what it's gonna sound like. So 
a nice little ring to it. We're still doing one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, but on that one, we're letting the bass note ring out, okay? Or the top couple of bass strings, the low sounding strings. We're letting them ring out one, two, and three, and one. This gives a little bit of a different sound. It's a little bit more of kind of like a late beginner thing, but I wanted to throw in a little spice for you guys if you're up for the challenge and it sounds really, really nice on this song. All right, so let's start off by getting our tempo nice, slow, and easy. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright round yon virgin. If you guys are interested in more crazy Christmas sweaters and really want to start learning about how to finger pick some of these songs, then I highly recommend you go check out my finger picking Silent Night video over there where I'm going to show you step by step how to play that beautiful song.